What's going on, people? It's Mr. Door back again. I hope everyone's fit and well. And yes, another live stream, another show. Is it is what it is. My head's spinning. Forrest, I've announced a new sign-in in Troy's defender, Gillian Bacconi. I've been keeping, I've been keep repeating, repeating that name for the last hour. People, are you happy the way I'm saying it? Get in the comments. If if I'm wrong, don't get at me. Um, right, people, another show. Um, I'm just excited to have a, a, a special guest and the usual face of Stephen. How are you doing, Stephen? Yeah, I'm all good, Ben. Yourself? I'm not too bad. I'm excited. Stephen, yeah. the Premiership is almost started. It's up with four weeks. Four weeks? <laughs> we, we're just on Sky Sports all the time. It's Look, you know, yeah. on the yellow bar and just people talking about us. And, uh, yeah. people, I think it is what it is, man. I love seeing it. Like I said, Stephen just mentioned the yellow bar. I love it. The yellow bar. And when you see the, in the Premiership, we see the Premiership and the Championship. We're in the Premiership, and yeah. we're not we're not in League One. We're not not League One. We see we see it in the Premier, <laughs> Premier League. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's good to see. Um, right, we passed. No, this is Stephen from Wales, big Forest fan, and everyone knows who Stephen is. Um, but we've got a special guest, um, and we've got a choice fan. And as we know, we don't know nothing about a new signing. So before we get a special guest in, Louis, he's a choice fan. Louis, ha how are you today? Hello. Thanks for thanks for having me here. So um, yeah, I'm coming to give my my views on the the new signing. Exactly. Yeah. So like this is Louis. Like he does um, it, um, a lot about Troy's um, in first league. He's got his own Instagram account as well. Um, Troy, before we start, talk about your Instagram page. Oh yeah. So basically, I have an Instagram page. So on um, on uh, on Troy. So that's the that's the team you're signing Bian Kuhn from. And yep. uh, so yeah, I've had this page for quite a number of years, and so I'm very happy to be here today. So, like I said, if people want to go and follow his channel, like I said, he's got, he's got his name as well. It is in the description as well. So, people can go and follow him. And if, if there's anyone that wants to ask any question to Louis regarding our new salon, Julian Picone, please do help me out. Um, if there's a super chat as well, if, it, if you do do super chat, make sure you do a question as well. Um, right, before we just start, I'm going to get Stephen in um, because I know I've not, he's not been on this channel for quite a while. Stephen. We brought Henderson in. We brought in. A, oh, I can't pronounce the striker's name. Steve, can you pronounce the striker's name? Uh, Big T. Big T. Uh, uh, Tai Tai Wo is it? It's for that's it, Tai Wo. That's it. That's Wait, it. Tai Wo. Yeah. Tai Wo. Um, like I said, Stephen, first time today. How are you feeling about what's what's happening so far? Yeah, I'm quite. I'm quite happy at the moment. I think it's a bit slow. I think everyone expecting like bang, bang, bang every day and every hour. But if it's just it's um. You know, as long as we get enough players in to get enough legs in the team in pre-season, there will be a couple on deadline day, which always happens. But yeah, I, I'm quite. I, Henderson's a brilliant signing. You know, that's a, another subject. I know with the Samba thing, but what a signing that is. Um, the striker up front looks a real handful. I know you. We all do it on YouTube, and we all look up the videos and stuff. But he looks like he, he's calm in front of the goal. You know, and this new, well, we've gone to this new lad now. Uh, but yeah, if we can get, I'm sure we'll touch on it later, but other names coming in. I'm really happy with the signing so far. Henderson was a great base to start from. 100%. Great signing. Um, like I said, people were here. It's the first signing, and that's why we've got Louis in to talk about this player. Like I said, I don't know enough about him. People in the comments, you don't know enough about him. Steve won't know enough about him. And this is why I've got Louis to get all, to talk about our new signing. So, Louis, tell about our new player. Like, what's he like? And tell me, just tell us things about him. Yeah, so um, he's, first of all, it's important to know he's just 22. So you're getting yourselves a, a player who's in the midst of uh, his progress and his development. So he can still reach even higher levels than he's at right now. And so he just played one season with us, uh, but a very good one. He was one of the main standouts in our defense and helping us stay up this year. Because uh, it was actually the um, the first time in 16 years that we managed to stay up, and he actually played a quite big role in that. And uh, I'd say you're getting yourselves a very versatile defender. He can play anywhere along the back line, whether that be left back, uh, right back, or 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 even center back. Uh, I'm not sure where you guys are expecting him to play, but yeah, he's very versatile and across the back line, uh, and he's. A player who's really got that warrior mentality in the sense that no matter how he plays, whether he has like a poor game or a good game, even though he he didn't have many poor displays last season, he always gives 100%. And that's uh, something that he never fails to do. 
so he'll always give you that uh, everything, and so uh, that's always good to have in a player. Uh, I find. Mm. So what what's your reaction? Like, so people in the comments as well. Like, say, if you, is there any questions to, to ask Louis about the player, please get him in. Um, Stephen will ask my questions as well to ask you, Louis, as well. Um, what, what are you disappointed that he's left your club? Uh, of course, because he he was one of our best players. So, and it was actually quite unexpected because um, I'm not sure if you recall, but there there were links with um, Issa Kabouri, which is uh, if you know who I'm talking about um. Uh, our right back from Burkina Faso, Kabore. Did you hear the links? No. No. Well, he was he was actually linked with Forest, and so we thought that he was going to Forest, and but it ended up being uh, Biancone. So we were all a bit surprised uh, at, at the beginning, uh, but now okay. we sort of accepted it. But of course, we're sad to lose a player of his quality. Okay. Um, like people, if you're asking a question, you got any questions to ask Louis regarding the playoff? There's a lot of people. If you have any questions you want to ask Louis, uh, please do. Um, so, like I said, this jump, you know, he, he, I've been hearing he play. He can play right wing. He can play right centre back. What What's his best position? Um, for, in your In your opinion, as a fan. Uh, in my opinion, I'd say his best position was uh, when we were playing a back five, and he was on the right uh, center back spot he was really good uh, because i feel like that's sort of a mix between a right back and a center back which is sort of his two like main traits um so yeah i'd say right center back uh, but right back is probably his uh, okay. second back okay right that player you're talking about i do know who he is <laughs> is that man city right back yeah exactly you know, sure. there, I, so my brain went dead sorry my bed my brain went dead um Stephen, you only, you only question for Louis. Yeah, is we touched on his strengths. So are there any weaknesses in his game? I know it's a bit of a negative spin, but it's always nice to know any weaknesses. Always, is it? Always, always love a negative yeah. spin. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, any weaknesses? Uh, any weaknesses? I'd say uh, sometimes because of his um, the way he always wants to give everything, he can make uh, rash decisions. Um, he gave away a few penalties which probably shouldn't have given away. So he can have that uh, little switch in his head sometimes, which sort of brings okay. a sort of a worser part of his game out. But um, generally, he he hasn't shown many weaknesses last season. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing like um, he's a. F I saw some clips about him, and I think oh, I, I don't know it was. He likes to go forward and he'll shoot Forest, like when really going up and down. But what's he like going forward? Is he is he um, is, is he is he fast or? Yeah, I'd say it's interesting because I'd say he's more of a defensive uh, fullback because of the fact that he started out as a centre back. But he can definitely bring a lot going forward. Um, he scored a goal for us last season. He always he also gave two assists and he's quite often involved in in build up. But uh, he isn't the fastest because he's quite like a stock guy. But he's still fast enough, I'd say, and so I think he gives you a good mix of uh, pace and strength, sort of in between. Mm. That makes sense. You, you, you mentioned him being young, twenty-two years old. Like, do you think, let's say, Stanley Forest, like Forest, have got um, they've got the mentality now of buying young players now, and maybe in the future they can do get a players. Do you think that he can, hopefully, with Forest? Do you think he can be played beyond? And play with like I don't know, go more forward in his career. Yeah, definitely. Because uh, I think he's a player who's really determined. Uh, and now that he's in this environment in the Premier League, I, I can only see him getting better and better. Mm -hmm. um, there's 131 people in. I got 24 likes. People do hit the like button, please, if you can. Um, if you if you're new to the channel, I am Doran Tor. I have with Doran, uh, Mr. Dor with Doran Tor, and um, we're doing a video. A live stream about Nottingham Forest news signed Julian Bicone. Um, if you don't, if no one knows where I, this guy is, it's Stephen from Wales. He's always on a stream, and this is this is Louis. He's a choice fan to talk in depth about our new signing. Um, we talk about the like. What's his? What was his relationship with the fans? Was he quiet? Was he was he loud? Tell us what what was he like. So uh, he was definitely a fan favorite, which is why we were so disappointed that he was leaving. So I'd say he's. Uh, with us anyway, he was extremely close with the fans. So when the news broke out, there was sort of a 
a little meltdown amongst the fans because he was sort of, a, as I said, the, the fan favorite. So yeah, he's he he's really close to the fans and he tries to uh, build up that relationship. And even on uh, on Instagram with all the different fan accounts and fans, he often interacts. Do you, I got a question? Do you think he will yeah. settle in England? Do you, do you think he'll, he won't get homesick, or do you think he'll settle quite quickly? No, that kind of player. That's actually, um, a very good question because I doubt he speaks very good English. Uh, I may be wrong, but uh, I don't know about that. Um, but again, I, I mean, it might be difficult. Yeah. But I mean, I saw um, Dor showed me a video of. Um, him singing to the squad, so it seems like he's already yeah. settling in nicely. Because I'm trying to think, though, we haven't got any French connection in our team at the moment, have we? French? Um, so we haven't, have we? Samba. Well, Samba's going, though. Samba's yeah, going. Yeah, but we, if we sign that other boy from Mentz, is it? The yeah, uh, Carte. Yeah, yeah Carte. Um, him, then, you know, I'm, it, you always find it does help, you know, when players come in from other countries, if they got someone there who can speak a lang the same language or from the same kind of culture, it does help them settle a bit quicker. Panzo! What Panzo? Panzo can, can talk. Panzo, oh. yes, he's probably the closest. Is Panzo French? Well, is it? Well, is it facing, yeah, but has he got French? Oh, no, maybe so. We forgot, what about so? Maybe so, maybe so, yeah. We forgot about so. There are, maybe so. We, forgot, yeah. we forgot about maybe so. See, the problem is, right, we, we've, not, we've not heard nothing much about Panzo or so. So now no. Stephen's in a meltdown, and they, uh, people down <laughs> Stephen they're down a meltdown. Stephen, they're having a little meltdown. Like people, I, I don't know. Right <laughs> 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 he's up. People, he, he, he's on a meltdown. He's not been on the channel for a while. So people, if you want to get Stephen, get at him. Um, people like his comments. Actually, if you've got any questions for um, Louise, if we've got a new sign, please get in the comments as well. Uh, subscribe as well, people. I'm trying to get to 10k as well from the end of the year. So please. Do hit the subscribe button and hit the like button as well. I'm on 40 likes. There's 136 people in. Hit the like button as well. Um, like Stephen, I'm asking you, Stephen. Like I said, Louis touched on. Um, he's a right back. He can he can play that that role, that centre back left as well. And we're talking about like we're starting. I know we brought in the striker as well, but he's super slowly. He's starting from the back into yeah. and slowly going up. So as a voice fan, as well, people. Get comments in as well. What's your, what's your opinion about him starting from the back and going forward? But Stephen, let me ask you first. What's your opinion on everything? Yeah, I agree with you, Ben. I knew you could see it coming. Like, as soon as he signed Henderson, you could see he's working from the back forward. He's, I think we're going to be more conservative this year. I, You know, it's a premiership. You know, Cooper's not going to just open the game up and get crucified every week. I think he's going to pile up the defence now, signing this lad now and signing awfully Ducate, is it? We've uh, the other French lad. We've been linked with uh Roden as well, which mm. I've heard through links that he's gonna sign as well. So we're gonna be I wouldn't say top heavy because we need the strength and depth. Mm. You know, um especially you know with World Cup as well, you don't know well that kind of thing. So with a break. So yeah, I it's a good thing to start from the back. Like Alan Hansen said years ago, you start with the base from the back and you work your way forward. And I think in time, as long as you're patient, you'll start signing the strikers and the attacking players to fill the gaps in. But I, I think he's sensible. You just see it like, you know, we could have easily gone out and just splashed like Fulham did a few years ago and just buy yeah. like flair players for like 100, I was 120 million. Mm -hmm. What does that get to? You know, we're going to get battered 4 5 nil every week. Yeah, I would rather... If it means that we are tougher to beat, but not as easy on the eye, and stay up, mm. I'm happy with that. Mm. People in the comments, what do you think? Like I said, Steve was right. I said, we've got to start from the back. We get, again, quite the players in. Simon Piccone, getting Henson in, in, in goal as well. Can I, can can watch. Just, sorry, Ben. Can I just touch on this Piccone guy? I, obviously, we all look at YouTube link, uh, videos. And one video I've seen is he makes his run from his own box. He literally... Beats like two, three players, runs into the opposition's, like, into their, into their half, and he's literally running through the middle of the pitch. I'm like, this guy likes to get forward, yeah. So, yeah, he looks like he's pretty attacking minded as well when he wants to it, and he looks quite athletic as well. So I, mm. I wouldn't say he's as quick as Spence. No, no, you know what? I saw, no, you know, what? I disagree with you there, Steve, because I saw a clip. I think I don't know what game it was. 
He was on, he was on um, Twitter, and he's he's lightning. Look like I won't say he's not fast. As, he's not fast as Spence, but but he's he no slouch. He's no. no slouch. He's no slouch. There's a question for you, Lewis, and this is the main question, as Stephen mentioned. Fulham, they spent so much money, but this is from where is it? My name's Saint Ben. Um, does Louis think that bargain for fee being five million? Do you, do you think the five million was is it worth it, or do you think you could have got more from him? Uh, I'll be honest. I think five million is really a fantastic deal because I mean, for us, uh, obviously getting five million is quite big because we have like very small budget. But I am looking at like the um, the world market in general, especially in the Premier League. Getting a player like him for five million, yeah, I think that's definitely a bargain. Mm. So, I mentioned, like I said, what was what was his scoring record like last season? Did he score any goals? Um, yeah, did, what was he like? Uh, he did score one goal. It was actually on the the final uh, home game against Loss. Uh, he it was a corner, uh, and he sort of got the ball on the edge of the box, and he, he shot, and it was a little deflection, and it went in. Yeah. Mm, okay. Um, people like to get, get comments in. Um, I said there's 151 people in. I appreciate that everyone that's took the time and come in to watch me, Stephen, and Louis, the Toys fan. If you don't know who's here, he's going to talk about not so far as new signing as well. And if you saw the video as well, if you look at Panzo, he's doing his, his little song. I don't know what song he's singing, but if you want to see it, go on the Instagram page, look at Panzo. He is singing a song, so I, I, I have keep checking it as well. Um, people like I say, get comments in and we'll ask you we'll ask as well. Um, last you, Stephen, like I said, we're, we're touching on, like I said, it's four weeks to go, and we've got four weeks to talk about this as well. But like I said, Stephen's not been here for long, quite a while. So, Stephen, are oh, you looking forward to the season? Like I said, I remember it was you, me, Des, and um, Lee when after that playoff final, but now. It's is it sunk in yet? Is it sunk in that we are we're we're going to the Premier League and Newcastle's the first game? But are you excited? People in, in the question, oh, I'm, I'm excited. People get get your comments in. How excited are you? See me in Premier League. You know, I'm sure 99 percent agree with me that we all suffer from football blues away in the summer. You know, we should have yeah. the World Cup now. That should be on to keep us going, but that's not on. You know, and you know, we every day we just refresh and tweet it all the time away and just refresh and trying to see links or who's linked with who uh but i i told you and i told everyone i told the gang as well like as soon as you saw the fixture list that's it newcastle away first game bang you know bang. then we're playing with west ham then we're playing uh who have we got then Ed edmonton i think is it everton yep and then we got like spurs and man city back to back you know <laughs> it's like wow it, like We'll be there. We'll be there. People uh, don't worry about it. We'll but no, there. no, it, it, it's it's great that we've taken it from the likes of Preston and Blackpools and Blackburns and all these Lancashire teams and the other teams we've been to many times. It's just a fresh start now and then. It's so exciting to see, you know, the fixture list. Mm. Brilliant. Louis, I'm gonna ask you a question. I said Louis is a young lad, he's 17 years old. How much do you know about Nottingham Forest? Uh, Nottingham Forest. Well, I know you're uh, European champions um, in the 20th century. So that's actually quite impressive, you know, to uh, mm. be able to call yourselves Champions League winners. Champions League winners, like I uh, yeah. Louis, you won't, you won't know much about Forest, but Louis, if you want to know about Forest, make sure you follow my channel, Louise, Louis. Um, like I said, there's so much content that can come through, um, but. Before I let go, Lewis, like I said, this, this new signing that we talk, we're going to talk about, like I said, do you, do you think he's young, he's successful? Um, do you think he can do well for Nottingham Forest? Um, yeah, uh, well, I think if he really, because I think if he managed to build on what he did last season, there's a there's no reason for him not to be able to just go from strength to strength and then i feel like if he can really fit into the dynamic of this team and he managed to stay up this season and uh, he attaches with the fans he can be here for years to come i'm loving that i'm loving that right let go but let go but, but, but louise you know what thank you very much for um taking your time for coming on the channel um as i said people 
I, I am staying on before we well, me and Stephen talk about what, what about the forest season as well. Uh, but that's right. If people want to follow Louis Lewis um, on Instagram, his link is in below. Louis, Louis, before you go, talk about Instagram posts so people can follow you. Oh yeah, I just post about uh, trois. So I mean, if you're if you're interested, you can pop by. And uh, if you want to know anything more about uh, the new signing, you can pop in my um, uh, DMs and I'll I'll, I'll answer you. So, you, know you, really, you know what, you know what, Lewis, you remind me of a forest fan, and, and Stephen might say you look, you remind me of Jack Pugley. He's a forest fan. Uh, <laughs> you you won't know who he is, Lewis, but people, forest fans will know who Jack Pugley is. He reminds me of Steve. You know Pugley is, don't you? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I I know of. Yeah. Don't be offended. Don't, don't, don't feel offended, Lewis. He, he's a forest fan. He's, he's, he's a YouTuber as well. So people in the comments, do you think Lewis looks like Jack Pugley? But the be- Lewis looks like a better version to Pugley though. So I just thought, just thought I keep some um, positive freak vibe. But yeah, Louis, it's been a pleasure. Um, I'm thank- I'd like to thank you very much for um, giving all the information about um, our new signing. Thanks so much for having me. It was a really great pleasure. And thank you for everyone for watching and coming back. You're right. Pleasure. Cheers. You. Okay. And that's a good look to the season as well. Oh, yeah. Good luck. I hope we, we both stay up this season, right? Because I guess we have the season. We are staying up. We are staying up. Exactly. <laughs> Cheers, dude. Thank you very much, Louis. Yeah. Cheers, dude. Uh, right, so that's Lewis. But I'd like to thank you very much for seeing it. Um, for Lewis as well. Like I said, I thought it was still early. I'm mean, like, I said, Steve's not been in here for a while. Um, let's see. Well, no, but before we do start, before I ask you, Stephen, like I said, I got a super chat. And Forrest Dan, as well, how excited we are, Premier baby. Thank you for the two pound. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, like I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, people, for this um, new, new show. Like I said, people, Get your questions in, like I said. Tomorrow, um, I meant to do a, a, a Premier League um, show, a, mem- a members show. So, people, like I said, um, I'll be, I'm, I'm, what time is it now? I might, no, I think it'll be too late. It'll be too late. I've got work in the morning. I would have done a, a show after this, but now I've got Stephen on. I'm, I'm, let's talk about Stephen. Like I said, we're four weeks away, and I get your opinion. Like, we've got Dean Henson. Um, how happy are you? Like I said, we know with the sample situation. But are you, as a Forest fan, are you happy we've got him in and do you think he'll be successful with the club? Dean uh, Anderson? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's um, he's a class signing. He's a class signing. I know how we jump from, you know, one extreme to another, like we're all worshipping. I was one of them worshipping Samba only a month ago. And how times change, all of a sudden things happen and then we're all... Yeah, we've got Henderson, but unfortunately, that's the world we live in when we jump from championship to premiership. Sometimes, you know, me and Ben have got our opinions on Samba. Other players, mm-hmm. other fans love him, worship him. I've always been a fan of him, but in the back of my mind, I'm going to be through gritted teeth saying, like, was he, he was he really the keeper for the premiership? I don't really know. But for me, Henderson is great signing, outstanding signing for me. Mm-hmm. Start from the back. Like I, said, um, I, I mentioned, like I said, sorry, I mentioned, like I said, we, we started from the back. I know we brought um, Big T from you know, here for Berlin. Uh, I can't pronounce his name. People, I know people are going to get him in the comments, but it's fine. Um, but like I said, it's, it's important. Like I said, we've been linked with so many players as well. <laughs> and Toffolo. Toffolo. I can't wait for oh, fireworks. I can't wait for the, the fireworks to go off in that. For, for oh. that for, if I, te- if, I tell you what, mate, if we manage to take. Two are they because they them two are their best players. Yeah, they're gonna hate. I just feel they're gonna hate us. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's, it's, I see. They, I think it was the sun. I don't know if I believe that. If I do believe the sun or not, do I really believe them? Like O'Brien, like I said, O'Brien. I like I like O'Brien, but he's not he's, gonna replace him. O'Brien. Is I think we've touched him before. He's that niggly, nasty player that you would you rather him on your side than playing against. He's just that nuisance and he. I think. I think if we add him, I think he'd just be a fan favourite, I think, with us. And 100%. in the Premiership, he could put a foot in as well, I think. 100%. 100%. Uh, right, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm looking at a question from uh, Andrew. Uh, Mr. Why don't you grow your beard like Steve? I, I, like, I want one like Steve's. In fact, I'm going to grow mine now. <laughs> I won't shave it. <laughs> Listen to me, I'm not growing my beard. Listen, but I can't, I, I've got a patchy one, so it's not, that, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, people. So, <laughs> nah. I can't, Can I, I can't. Uh, Sorry, Ben. There's a there's a comment or question earlier on uh, asking me about um, 
is there tension in my country or something? I think it's regarding, obviously, well, with these Welsh connections now, is there more notice? There's a comment further back. Uh, um, earlier on in the stream, someone asked a question directed to me. Um, um, it's, it's, it's quite a way back, it was. Is it way back? Yeah, towards the mid, towards the front of the stream. It was basically asking me if um, if the attention in in my country is rising or something like that. I said. I'm trying to find it now. People, whoever did that comment, oh, was it there? Oh, yeah, there, there, there it is. There it is. For me, sense question, Steve. Is, yeah. If it's more mention of, about Chloe in, in in his beautiful city, and so Do you know what? Yes, it is. Um, purely because of Johnson. Um, he's creating such a buzz, you know, in Wales because of what he's done internationally now as well. We've seen it all season, but now he's been exposed on the big stage and he's gone to the World Cup. You know, people are messaging me saying, oh, what a player you got. And I'm like, yeah, we knew that all along. It's just now you've seen it because he's in a Welsh shirt. Um, obviously, with other Welsh connections, we'll have now uh, Nico Williams, Roden, you know, the uh, Hendersey as well. Wayne Hendersey apparently is potentially signing as a backup mm -hmm. keeper Welsh players, isn't it? that but that, that performance against uh who do we would it Wales play belgium yeah belgium yeah yeah what like he, he, i think he's pulled like 16 saves off or something like that ridiculous against the likes of de bruyne and players like that you know is he, if he could be back up you know bring it on he, he's a great backup to have um and with uh Ovath going to luton it clearly showing that we'll have We'll have in hey, what's, what's your opinion about Hover? Oh, well, like I said, I know people in the comments, what, how do you feel? I, like, I don't know, right? Before, right, let me touch on it before I've got, just, I've got two special messages. I've got a super chat as well before I get Stephen's opinion. People get opinion. What's well, even how off? Um, I've got a, super, uh, a member, Adam, Mr. Jack Greenish. Thank you for being a member from my channel as well. Um, and I got a special message, and this is from Argentina. Uh, I love you for this so much. Sending good energy from Argentina with lots of energy and support. Uh, Stephanie, oh, much appreciate. Thank you from the from the Argentina world. <laughs> Out there, yeah, thank you very much for that. And yeah, much love as well. People in the comments, you know what? Where are you watching the stream? I, I love to know where everyone is watching the stream. And like, it's, it's, it's important for me um, just seeing where is it taking part. It could be from England, out of England. Around the world, put in the comments where are you from, Stephen? Back to the main question. All right, you, you said even how off, like I said, I, I said I, I felt sorry for him. I felt sorry for him, but at the same time, we're in the Premier League. That's a thing, and he didn't do he didn't do nothing wrong. He didn't do oh. nothing wrong. Me, me personally, but what, what? And people in the comments, what do you how, how do you feel about this, Stephen? What do you feel? Yeah, I, I think go back to last season and it like I know now now knowing what happened with Samba and the penalty shootout and so on and how we got us through to the final and so on. But I think the way he was kind of just like giving us chance and it was like kind of I I go we all got opinions about me. I I felt he was hard done by. He did nothing wrong. He mm. was very conservative and he was very robotic. Yeah, but he wasn't as flamboyant as Samba. But then uh, they looked at it and gone, right, is he the level of keeper we need as backup in the Premiership? But then he, like someone's in the comments, but then now when I mentioned it weeks ago on, a, on the stream, he needs first team football because he's in the World mm -hmm. Cup. He And we can't guarantee that. With Hendersey, like with, I take it with America, they probably got more keepers fighting over each other. But with Wales, mm -hmm. Wayne Hendersey would be probably quite happy to know in that he'd be number one for Wales in the World Cup. And he'd be quite happy to sit on the bench for us and maybe get the odd game here and there, maybe in the League Cup. Maybe, some, you know, maybe you'll put him in one or two games just to give him that time. But with Horvath, I I said it from the start, like pre-season, he needs to play playing football because he's got the World Cup to think of. Mm. So I'm not surprised he's gone to Luton. And Luton's track record of keepers, especially towards the end of the, the season, they had like they had to get an emergency loan in. So they, yeah, I they did. Uh, yeah, because I, I got a mate who was a Luton fan. He, he was telling me in the week... Um, we just completely battered for keepers. So no mm -hmm. wonder they got a keeper in. But yeah, I just feel odd. And I, I feel sorry for him in a way. Like, I don't know, he did nothing wrong. It's just Samba was always going to get back in the side. But I just felt he did nothing wrong in them games, did he? No. no. I've seen there's a lot of criticism, like I said, about like, his kicking and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But in hindsight, like, I know 
to what, what like people mentioned that Mizba game where we lost two 0 and when you when you have a manager that was so negative like with under Chris Hooter, everyone was it what well, everyone was in the same boat. Everyone was. So everyone mentions about he wasn't good against Mizba, who was who was good at, in that game against Mizba when Chris Hooter got sacked. So a bit harsh, but at the same time. I get it because Harloff needs to play in the World Cup and being second fiddle to uh, Dean Henderson, I get it. So I hope he does well. He's got a full season with him as well. And you never you never know. Get a full season under Luton, he might come back. But people in the comments, what do you think? Do you think next season, that could, this season, it could do, to help him well? Um, well, I'm, I'm just looking for the comments and see where, where, so where's everyone watching this. Uh, so I'm going to start from the top comment. Uh, I see someone write Beirut. Yeah, Beirut. That's uh, <laughs> so. The, so there's Kev. Uh, he's from, from Rexon. Uh, Russell from uh, Gibraltar. Uh, this is Hadi from Beirut. Legend. This guy. I need this guy back on my stream. I, I, I am before the season starts. I, I am going to get um, an over broad stream with Forest fans. So people, if you're over broad, please get me in the comments as well. I lo I'd love to get you on um, as well. Pat from Ketterin. Uh, Peter from Stafford is New Zealand. Peter, get on my show, Peter. I'd love to get you on my channel. And I need these, these followers. Like, Stephen, he's from Wales. Remember, what game was it, Stephen? Cardiff away. Was, was singing, was, he was singing the, the England songs and himself and Martin wasn't singing the England songs. So, <laughs> it's on my vlog, people. Cardiff away. We lost 2-1 and he wasn't singing the song. So. And, the, and the Swansea game. Yeah, the Swansea game as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, uh, look, look, look at this uh, t table test for work. So, Anthony is from my neck of the woods, never feels. Uh, Chap is from Meadows, I used to live in Meadows. Uh, Colin from Clifton, big shout out to Colin. Uh, Mark is from Bestwood. Uh, uh, David's from Newark. Um, Skegness. Uh, looking at Nick is from Top Valley. Uh, I've got a super chat. Uh, this is from. Uh, Andrew for 99p. Thank you very much for the 99p people. Like, if you do want to help help me out and support my channel, please do. But like I said, thank you, Andrew. Andrew, next time I know you have gone, but just put a question in because if people do want to do super chats, I know the question. I can't read every single question, and I, when I watch other podcasters, they don't. They always don't read. So people, I true, I do try my best to look for the comments. It is so hard when they go really fast. Um, I'm looking for this one. Where, where, uh, he says he's from Best World. We know where he's from. Legend as well. Uh, Baseford uh, is Adam. Uh, Catherine is from Nottingham. Where about not me from Catherine. Uh, Mitchell is from Strelly. Uh, Kristen, he's been on my show. He's from Dudley as well. I don't, uh, Cambridge. Uh, Des is from Cambridge. Bloody hell, people are loving this. I'm loving this, people. Uh, Evening from Castellanton. Evening. I'm loving this. Uh, if you don't know, Stephen's from Wales. He's, he, he lives in Wales. So, yeah. No one knows as well. Uh, I've got, got a new, new, well, got got a new member. member. Thank you very yeah. much. Uh, Jamie and Jess, thank you for being a member. Jamie, can you email me, please? I much appreciate it if you can. And like I said, people, I, I, I meant to do my, a member show today because we got the new signing today. I couldn't, I had to try and. Be nice. So, um, Jamie and Jess, whatever, well, what, what your name is, can you email me and message me sooner so I can get you on the show? And if you are a member, people, and you have not, I repeat, not been on my show, can you please email me so I can get you on? Because tomorrow I'm doing a member show. If Forest have, haven't signed a striker, but not a striker, a player. So, people, if you haven't been on the show and you are a member, Please email me and I'll get you on the show. And tomorrow I am doing a, me a member show if Forrest hasn't signed a playoff. Um, right. Any questions for me? Like I said, uh, we're on. I've got a Forrest. question there. Eh? Where, where in Wales am I from? Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Um, uh, a place called Neath. Where's it? Where's it? Uh, from uh, Chris, uh, Christian from Dudley. Steve, where in Wales are you from? I can't. Where is it? Uh, can't Just see that. Just oh, there, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, place called Neath, I am. It's about eight miles from Swansea. So, yeah, it's a town called Neath. Yeah, so it's where, um, it's where the famous singer, um, what's that, what's her name? Bonnie Tyler was born here. Yeah. 
so yeah, he's from he's from the Dudley. So it was weird. How long have we known Stephen? I think the first time I met Stephen was Swansea away, wasn't it? Swansea, Swansea away. away, and we what won. When Samido scored. Samido scored. Went I, mad. I, had, I had started watching your vlogs, and I turned around and I saw you. I saw your flag, and I just made a beeline for him. I was like, oh, I like. Like like a lot of the fans do. Can I have a selfie with you, Ben? <laughs> like a proper fanboy. And then you just like I added it on Facebook and then the rest is history, you know. Like the rest is history. Like I said, people, I'm not like when it comes to YouTubers and I'm I watch loads of podcasters and I'm just a voice fan. I'm like I said, but when everyone says I was at um a typical little thing yesterday and a forest from scared come up to me and I said to him, This to him, I'm not special, I'm just a forest fan. Just like Stephen, just like any forest fan that's watching the stream, I'm nothing special. Than anyone else. I'm just a forest fan. I enjoy what I do. And like I said, we talk about forest. And that's what me and Stephen do. We talk about forest. Whoever's on my show, we just talk about it. And now we're back in the Premier League. There's more to talk about and more players that are coming in as well. Um, yes, I've Adam's got... right. When Samido scored, Cooper was in charge. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Uh, but I've got uh, this, this is another one. Uh, Louise, hi guys. Big good, big good from Portugal. Big shout out for the Portugal lads. Shout out for that one. <laughs> um, I've got another member uh, from Andrew Sh Andrew Sharp. Thank you, Andrew, for being a member. Andrew, can you dear message me, please? Email me, uh, please, if you can. Thank you for, uh, for being a member. Um, people, if you want to be a member, it's two pound ninety nine a month, and it, it helps me a lot. I know I get messages. People like say, "Can you hear me? Uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me, people? Can you, Steve? Can you hear me well? I've yeah. got like a little thing. So, I, uh, this is from shout out to Malcolm." Malcolm brought this for me. Um, so people, it, it, to help and support my channel, um, yeah, it helps me a lot. And I forgot to, like I said, I don't know if I announced it, but I am going to Germany. I am going to Germany to watch Forest v. Jürgen Berlin. Um, so I am confirming that I am going. Um, and if anyone wants to, um, to, to want to be a sponsor for that vlog, please get at me. Um, and promote the work companies or anything else. It's much appreciated as well, people. So as well, I'm going there. I'm going to I'm, the games. I'm going to. Um, I'm going to Uni Berlin. I'm, watching, I'm going to Burton Albion. I'm going to Hertha Berlin, who's playing at Burton Albion as well. That's free. I'm missing the Barnsley game. Uh, I'm missing. We're going to. I'm missing us. We win Spain. Forest in Spain now. So that's the game I'm missing. I'm going to three games. So I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait. And that. Uh, right. Um, I've got questions for both of Stephen. Uh, Mr. Dort and Steve, one question. If you could choose one player for the championship, who would you get? Woo! Okay. People in the comments, get involved. Who would you pick from one player from the championship? That's a great question. Fantastic question. Um, Stephen. Do you want to go first on me? You go first. You go first. Ooh, that's a really good question. Who went down now? Burnley, Watford, Watford and Norwich. Um, trying to think. Oh, that's a really good question, that is. Um, one player. Now, someone's put P Pookie in the comments. Now, if it no. was two years, not now, Pookie's two, no. Maybe two or three years ago, yeah, but not now. Um, oh, that's a really good question. A good question. Uh, I, see, I see lots of people saying Sanderberg. Like he's a good shot, Sanderberg, but Lewis Potter's gone to Brentford. He's gone to he's gone to Brentford. So yeah, he's going to Brentford yeah. for 20 million. It's a good yeah. buy. Yeah, it's good. Uh Dwight McNeil is a good shout. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good player. Um, he's a good player for Burnley. Very good player. Oh, I have said uh, that boy from Watford, Saar. Good player. Good quick. player. Fast, direct, quick, powerful. I would probably go with Sar from Watford. Okay. So people in the comments, what do you think? I see that's actually low last Dwight O'Neill. Um, I know we're getting half ahead this week's squad anyway, so Yeah. <laughs> um you know what? There's there's one player that I said there's quite a lot a lot of larger players and there's one that says uh well Steve said Max Aaron's he's a good player yeah, as well. He's a good player. I know was linked with Ted Wallace, he's gone to West Brom now. Um but yeah, there's, there's quite a lot. Um, oh, I tell you, when it, I, I don't know if, again if he's Premiership quality. I, I'm a big fan of him. Or hair from Coventry. Oh yeah, good player. He's a. I I think he's class. I don't know if he'd make a jump up, but I think he's just a class player. Mm, good player. Mm. Good player. 
Um, right, uh, he said, dude, um, he's, been, he's been a member for six months now, he's, uh, he's Ed, so like I said, if no one knows, he's been his patron for a long time, so six months as well, he's been a member, so his question is, uh, do you agree we've signed the best goalkeeper liable? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. I like I said, the... about if we get Hennessy, you've got two international keepers there. 100%. 100%. Yeah. I remember that, said, we, we, we were talking about yesterday about, we know Hennessy can't play against Man U. And do you think we, that we can trust even have off? We can trust Samba, but we know Samba's going. We've got a, a good goalkeeper that's been in the Premier League as well, can do the job. So, mm. me personally, I think we have. And then we've got a good back of goalkeeper as well, who's Welsh, who's fighting as well to get to the World Cup as well. So, I personally yeah. think we've made a great choice, people. Um, as well, and there's one. Uh, and, and this is a Burnley fan as well. How are you doing, Ben? Um, when it says the top keeper, Sarri, are letting him go. Listen to me, fantastic, fantastic keeper for and I know he did well for Crystal Palace as well. Um, but yeah, um, right. I'm, I'm not agreeing to that. Ten likes and Steve chops to be it off. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. No, but people, if I get to um, what, what, what I think I'm on. If, if you're not subscribed to my channel, people, do do we do if, if we don't get if we get to um, one thousand two hundred subscribers by the end of the uh, end of the stream. Steven's Steven's gonna run around outside in the in, in his box shorts singing um, a forest song. Um, <laughs> uh, so people get 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 your subscribers. There's one people. I'm I'm 25 away from 8.2 subscribers. So people, please do hit the subscribe button. It helps me a lot. The Sims content that will be coming. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to Germany. I'm buzzing for Germany. I'm going with. Medium man, I'm going with uh, Legal Burn, and I'm going with the legend himself. Everyone knows who he is. I'm going with Billy. If you don't know who Billy is, people, if you know, you know. So, people, please go and hit the subscribe button. It helps me a lot. But I cannot, I can't wait to go to Berlin. And like I said, I'm going with um, microphone, uh, microphone man uh, and me uh, media man. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Um, another player. Uh, one minute this one. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, uh, Dor, when are you having your tattoo done? Uh, and have you decided that I, I, I'm gonna I'm going to book it in tomorrow? I've got a tattoo near my place, and so that's going to happen. To it's going to listen to me, right, people. The tattoo is happening before the season starts. Let's get it straight. It's going to happen before the season starts. So don't don't worry about it. It's going to happen. Just nervous as hell. Uh, let me say this was um, on Google. It says Forest Burton game is cancelled on Tuesdays. Uh, no, no, it's not. I don't, I don't think it is. And also, uh, I, I haven't got a clue. People get your questions in. I said, uh, we're nearly, we're nearly done. Like I said, if no one is right, I miss the door. We're done at all. Uh, I do like the previous reviews and all that. And the next doing is Steve from Wales as well. And if you want to be uh, on my show, people, um, be a member. And members get first choice as well. Please, like I said, be a member. It only costs £2.99. That cost is like a lime and lemonade in London. So people help me out and support the channel. Right, um, right, Stephen, I said, you I, I forgot to tell you, you're a Welsh lad. Everyone's talking about Brendan Johnson. People in the comments, like I said, like, if you haven't known Stephen, he's signed a, a great deal for your contract. I'm happy. Stephen, how happy are you? Like, everyone knows you got uh, you got hammered by Chris Hutton saying that he wasn't good enough for the championship. He did Fantastic for his last season. Signed a new contract. As far as fan, how happy are you? That's probably the best signing in the summer, isn't it? You know, if we can get Cooper tied down as well, them two are probably the most important signings we can make. You know, it would have been disappointing if we'd sign all these players and Johnson would have gone for like 30 million. Mm -hmm. so him signing has had an extra buzz now. And the only thing I would say is added value now to him as well by signing a new contract. You know, so if the worst case scenario happens now and we go down next season, which I hope we don't, you know, it's going to cost teams a lot more to sign him now than if, obviously, if he hadn't signed the contract, he would have gone for nothing, which would have been really disappointing. But anyway, that aside, hopefully it won't have to happen. Hopefully we'll stay up. He can have many years with us, you know, and yeah, it's, it's absolutely buzz, isn't it? You know, it's so good to see um, one of our own sign a new contract. You know, we've seen so many over the years, like Dawson, Reed. Genus get cherry picked by these big clubs, you know. Ollie Burke, you know, they, they all they all disappear, they all leave, 
you know, I like you got Dawson as well. They go on to better things, but I mean, it's still good that we can keep our Ophi Warrell can sign another contract as well and keep the base, you know, the Nottingham base there. You know what I mean? The the, the yeah. youngsters who play for the badge play with their heart because I don't. Know if you, I take you've seen it, uh, John, um, Johnson's uh, video when he said, "This is my club, my city." That's rare now. It's rare you see players come out saying that. You know, it's all about mm-hmm. that now. Yeah. At least you've got someone talking from the heart, which means a lot, and it hits hits the hits home with the fans as well. You know, straight away the fans feel, you know, they love that player even more. Then you know, because they're not just going, "Oh, I'm staying here because they've given me an extra five k a week or whatever it is." He is, he speaks from his heart, doesn't he? Hundred percent, hundred percent. Well, and you know what? Before we go, uh, I'm going to talk Stephen as well. We know the new five kits coming out, and I said I think what I'm going to do, like I said, if I reach um, 8.5 subscribers by the start of the season. I'm gonna give a giveaway. Or what should I do, Stephen, to make my get people to subscribe? I might do. If I right, um, I'm gonna deal. With, I'm gonna deal with people. And if you're rewatching this, if I get to nine k nine k subscribers, me personally, I've done, I've done it. When I reach five k subscribers, if I get to nine k subscribers, people, I'm gonna get. Two people, three people, the new forest top. If I get to nine k, so that's what I do, people. If you, if you, if I'm gonna do a treat before the season starts, my choice. If I get to nine k before the season starts, I will give a forest top away, free forest tops away. So all you do is subscribe, people, and as well, I'm gonna be generous. Like I said, if it wasn't for you a lot. This channel wouldn't be helping. Like I said, I've always have helped like people like Stephen, Des, um, Lee, Matt, everyone. I love everyone that has been on my channel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give back again. So the like, people, all like I said, I'm, I'm gonna, do, oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna do it, and I will. I am. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Get me to nine K subscribers before the season starts, and I will give a special prize to three people. It could be Nottingham. Out of the country, please do hit the subscribe button and I will be giving away free for our subscribers. Do you think that's right, Stephen? Yeah, I feel well. What you want? What, what you want now? I'm on. Oh, what am I on now? So uh, I'm on 8.1. I'm on 8.1. If I that's catch achievable. In, that's achievable in four weeks. If I can't get to four, if I can get to 4k people, I mean, to tonight, 9k. By the end, by the season, uh, that's the start of the season for the first game against Newcastle as well. I will be giving a prize, and as well, um, I don't know, should I say it now? I've reached, I don't, I don't know if I, no one knows, I've reached 1 million views on my channel. I've reached 1 million views on my channel, so people, so like I said, thank everyone that has watched all my content. I've done this for nearly five years, but if it wasn't for you lot. This stream wouldn't have happened. So, like I said, I want to appreciate everyone that has took time and watched all my co- the content I've done. I've reached one million views on my channel, um, and it wasn't for like people like Stephen Dares. I mentioned everyone's name. This wouldn't have happened, right? Um, I think I've not asked Stephen uh, prediction right now for league table. People in the comments before we do, I'm ask Stephen's prediction where Forest will finish at this point, where we'll finish in the league, Stephen. Where do you think Forest right now will finish? Forest are seven to one for a top half finish. Seven to one, right? So my heart tells me, my my heart tells me, thirteenth, mid table. Yeah, my head tells me sixteenth. I think we'll just have enough. It's gonna be tough. Good. I, I, be tough. I'm realistic this this season, Ben. I know people are throwing these numbers out there, but you just gotta look at it. I love to be a top half finish, but some some pundits are, you know, um, saying we're gonna surprise a lot of teams. We're gonna be a bit of a dark horse this season. Top half finish. I, I, I don't be. I don't be like. What's the word? Over. Like it's it, it's good to be back in the Premier League, but I always I always hammer Craig Price for this. And being, uh, what's that word? Realistic and blah blah blah. But 
I, I personally think that we'll we'll get. Uh, I think we'll finish fourteenth. What you got to ask yourself, right, Ben, and all the viewers is, we got to look at it. Are there three worst teams in us in that league? Yes. See, that's why you got to just keep on asking yourself and go through each team, and go break it down and right. They are three worst teams in us because we only we'll find start finding out the league after about ten games, and we will start assessing teams out. How are Leeds going to respond? Are they going to spend their money? Bournemouth. Because, because Leeds, 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 Leeds are losing. They've lost. Two, they're losing two good players like in Phillips yeah. and, and Rafinha. Other one, Rafinha. So they, they they're going to struggle as well. So. No, Brentford. How are they going to respond? We're not keep exactly. So, is it... um, so I'm, I think Southampton are going to struggle this year. I think. We, I think. Well, as, as a Forest fan, I think all Forest fans as well. We just want to compete. That's yeah. all we want to do. Compete. And, and just, I just hope that I hope I hope that we don't get this. Minute. No, we got to if we go to Man City and get some five nil. Not everyone be downbeat about it. That's mm. that's the realism of the Premiership. As long as we go there and give them a good game, if we come away losing five nil, just think about it. They have beaten the best in Britain at five nil at their place. That's why we go look at the Premiership. We can't be going there thinking, yeah, you know, just as long as we like you said, Ben, give every game hundred percent. That's all we ask for. And if we do mm. get spanked, we get spanked. It is the Premiership at the end of the day. Exactly. We're back Step in Premier League. And there's four weeks to go, people. There are four weeks to go. Like I said, there's, there's quite a lot of friendly games. Like I said, if no one knows, knows I'm going to Germany uh, on the 22nd. Um, and, yeah, I'm going to oh, Berlin. and Burton game. I heard from Berlin. And then straight after, I'm going to, I'm going to Germany. So, a lot of people, if you do want to um, sponsor my, my vlog for the German game to promote your business, Messages me, it helps me a lot as well because it's not it's not been cheap. Sorry, so Steve. You now obviously you know full well me traveling up as well, tickets and so on. With what's the layout now of the Premier League this year about getting tickets? Because I ideally have to go to that Spurs game at the end of August. You know, with this membership thing and all that, how does it work? What's me getting tickets? As you know, I, I, this what I'm hearing. I'm, the, the way membership people, the two thousand five hundred will be getting an email. Because, like Slat himself and all the people, we've gone to every game. I know there's going to be 500 left because this we guaranteed three cases, um, three thousand tickets. So it's going to be hard, but people, you know, everyone gets tickets. So I won't worry about it, Stephen, if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't I, just, worry. I just want to, because I got a lot of, lot of Spurs mates, and I just, that Spurs game at the end of August, I just I love to go to that one. Yeah, it's it's, it's going to be hard. It like is going to be hard, but you know it's going to be hard. Like I said, but like since we went Premier League, I've had so much messages. Oh, can you get me a ticket? Give me a ticket. Give me a ticket. Listen to me, like I try my best, but I can't. It's difficult, and I will, I'm, I don't want to promise every people, um, but it is so difficult to give tickets away. Like I was lucky enough to help Stephen out with um, Wembley, um, but. It's so difficult to get tickets, but I try my hardest, but um, I can't wait. I'm excited. I cannot wait to get to the Premier League and the Newcastle way again. I've never been to Newcastle way before. So I'm, I'm, I'm way ends a gap then. Oh, do I heard about like what, what I've been told. You, you get a nosebleed. It's literally like you're literally looking down on the pitch. It's so high. It's so like vertical. It's so steep. Oh, dude. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm, I'm using a lift. What are you going to now, though? It's going to be... Like I can't wait. I can't wait. Like Boxing Day, we've got Man U. Boxing Day is the worst one. We've got Man U, Chelsea. Oh. And we mentioned we've got Man City. Man City is a Wednesday game. Oh, for frig's sake. Then we've got Spurs. But it's, it's good, though. It's good. At least we're not going to Reading, Preston. No yeah. disrespect. No respect to our teams. Uh, who else are we going to? Like, oh, yeah. Even even Norwich. If you know, you know about Norwich City. I tell you, I tell you, right, Ben, when it hit home for me, because if you agree with me, right, you asked me earlier, right, when it hit home, when the fixture list came out, okay, and I was in my van driving around doing my job, and the fixture list came out and it said, Forest to play Newcastle away, I was like, whoa, you know, that's a big, you know, big start. The following week was the EFL one, wasn't it? Yeah. And, you know, just not worrying about looking at the fixtures. That's when it hit home, because usually we always used to, Premier League coming out first. And then we waited in a solid week then for hours to come out. That was that's when it hit home for me. Hours came out, seen the list what we had. Then it was a gap. Then the EFL came out and it was just like, 
I'm not even bothered with that. I don't care. I look, mm. I looked at Derby who they were playing because I just found it funny. Um, you know, we were playing Newcastle where they got Oxford. I was like, there you are. But yeah, it's um that's when it hit home for me. That gap. And I was like, right, we're in the big time now. We are in big time. And, and when it came was... up to Sky Sports on the side when it said the first the first uh, six games, I went on that little side yeah. bar and I'm like, Yeah, yeah, we're there. Oh, there I can't we wait. I cannot wait. I'm so excited, people. Like I said, if you Turning on for my channel, it's going to be mad, people. Like from now to the May, there's going to be so much content that's coming out as well. So, people, like I said, if you do want to see my journey and over, see you'll, you'll see guests on my channel, all you're doing for one little favor for me hit the subscribe button, subscribe, hit the like button. I'm on 88 likes, people. If you can't get hit the like button again, get me to 100 before I do go. Um, anything else that needs to, to, to talk about? Stephen, is there anything that you want to ask the, the people? Uh, ask anything you want before we leave? Um, not really, no. Just, you know, just these more exciting transfers to come, I think. I think, uh, you know, from from what's mad as well, from the playoff game, you know, the team we had there and the squad to the first game of the season is going to be, is it's going to be a well, we it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a new new team, I think. And that's going to take us a bit of time to realise. A lot of them team, you know, a lot of them players are lone players, and this team is going to look slightly different to the team that played in that playoff final. Before you go, Stephen, I think this question. I think everyone's asked this question as well, and this is from Andrew Williams. Um, this no, that's not that's that's uh, direct. Where is it? Where's it gone? There it is. Um, is Keen is Keen Days back with you? Do, right, people comment. Like I think, as you know, we've got the new, the new striker and Big T. Would you want him as a backup player, Stephen? For me, it's how much you pay for him. How much mm. do you pay for him? Because he's not prolific. I don't think he, he's, he'd be a handful in the Premier League. But I think this boy we brought in now, Taiwo, he's more of a clinical striker than Keenan Davis. And they're mm. quite similar, so you wouldn't play him in the same team. But for me, it's all about what you pay for Keenan Davis. I wouldn't play, I wouldn't pay over the odds for him. I wouldn't pay more than £10 million for him. I'd probably pay for eight. But for mm -hmm. me, I think he'd be... I wouldn't say no to him. If we go and say him tomorrow, I wouldn't be like, oh, have we gone and done? 100% take him. But I wouldn't pay over the odds for him. Nope. I don't know about you, Ben. Me, me personally, uh, uh, like I said, when, when he came in January, people were ooh and ahhing about him and he did well for us. Let's be real. He, 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 he did good for us. He got injured against Luton. And people thought, is he going to be the same player that we had when he signed? And he, he's different to what we have. Like, we've got Brian Johnson. We, we keep forgetting about Sam Sturridge. Sturridge, if, if I get it right. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I did. Did I get it right, Stephen? Sam Sturridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I apologise for his dad. His dad's watching as well. I do apologise. I might just say Big S, Big Sam. Um, keep getting them, we keep getting them players back as well. So... I'm excited. We've got, we've got a good squad, and I'm just like I said, I can't wait. I cannot wait to go to um, see you back in the Premier League and playing against the big boys. Right, I'm gonna get going. Stephen, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, thank you for coming on. Uh, you see this, you see Stephen back on the channel as well before the season starts. Last but not these people, and um, I did like I said, I said in the middle of the show, if I get to 9k, 9k subscribers. Before the new season starts, I'll be giving away free forest tops. But all you all you do is hit the subscribe button if you can, people. Hit the like button as well, people. It helps my my channel a lot. And I mentioned I'm going to Germany on the 22nd. So if you want to sponsor my vlog for the Germany away, please email me. Promote you if, if you want me to promote your business. It helps me a lot. So. Uh, thank you for like I said, for the 167 people that took the time not watching Love Island because Love Island is, is depressing. I'm sick of it. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's been a pleasure. But and like I said, oh, I'm doing a new I'm doing a show tomorrow. If you haven't signed no one, if you haven't signed no one, I am doing a member show. So if if you haven't, like I said, repeat, if you haven't been on my show and you are a member, please get in contact with me so I can get you on the show because uh, it's only fair. Um, that I get members on my show that who hasn't, I repeat, hasn't been on my channel. Right, it's been a pleasure. Sorry, one, one more quick thing: if, you, yeah, if yeah. we do, if we do sign Huddersfield's two best players, 
can you get a fan on? I just feel fan on. I just love them to be a bit salty. Hundred percent, hundred percent. This way, right. I'll get this to me. If we sign the two hundred for fans, I am getting them on. Getting them on simply because they are salty. They're still salty about the final, about penalty shootout, but the penalties, blah, blah, blah. But if, like I said, people, if we, if they did have the penalty, Samba would have saved the penalty anyway. So, yeah, but do you know what it, makes it more thing, right? Is that we're going to sign the left back who died, well, dived over Colback's leg and he's potentially coming to us. It's like Huddersfield fans must be like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking at. Uh, uh, Derek, I'd like to make a donation to Mr. To, if Derek, if you can email me. Much appreciate if you can, my friend. Um, like I said, people, if, if it's a business, like I said, from a German trip, please do. Uh, it, it helps me a lot. Right. I bet they go. We've just come past our mark. And it's been a thank you very much for everyone that's took the time. Uh, thank you for uh, Lewis, the Toys fan, that coming on to talk about his new player. Thank you, Stephen, for coming on my channel as well. You'll see his mug face back on again. Um, back tomorrow. Nine o'clock start. I'm talking about, and I said, we're talking about a catch up. It's just a catch up about Forest. Do you want to say something, Steve? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, one other thing if you if we can get Ben to 9k as well, I will come on the stream in my mankini. <laughs> People get to let me get to 9k, get me to 9k soon now, please. If you if you haven't, all you can do is hit the red button. Subscribe. I have, I have a swimsuit, Ben could probably describe it, but I'll come on the stream in a mankini. <laughs> Unbelievable series. Get me to land, K people. If you can hit the, hit the subscribe button. Um, but yeah, I'm not, what, I'm, what am I thinking about it? I don't want to be thinking about it because he's, he's a madman. He's a he's a mad guy. Right, people, let's get going. Thank you everyone for uh, watching this. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, like as well, and I'll see you tomorrow at nine o'clock. Peace and love, people. You reds. You reds. You reds.